Okay, number six, we have to define what is centripetal force. That is just basically Fc equal to mb square over r. Uh, you can either write this like this, but must include the direction of the forces. Lah. Or you can just write the direction is always towards the center of the circle. Lah. Okay, ataupun kamu lukis uh, begitu, pasu kastau, this is the centripetal force, this is the velocity. Okay, you have to include the direction lah kiranya, okay? Okay, so that's the definition of centripetal force. And then now we have to uh, look at question B lah. Okay, so an object of mass M is attached to a string of length L, uh, moving with constant speed and then the maximum tension, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so now we have to sketch a diagram illustrating the forces acting on the object when it is at the top of the circle and at the bottom of the circle okay the past we have to write expression for the centripetal force acting on the object if the string breaks at which position will this likely to be occur and then derive an expression for maximum tension the past to if we need the punya values we have to find the maximum tension okay so let's do that this is question number six we have to illustrate the forces okay so this one this is basically just a vertical circle okay the past two we are gonna look at both the top and the bottom okay so this is the top and then this is the bottom okay uh, object of mem okay vertical circle the past two we have to sketch when it is at the top as well as at the bottom okay in my plenty plenty pla, planner ada sudah ada lukisan kan so if it is at the top both the weight and the tension will be pointing down okay and then if it's at the bottom the weight will be pointing down but the tension will be pointing towards the circle okay so that is just basically the free body diagram this is tension. Uh, I'm just gonna put this tension at the bottom, tension at top, and then this is the mg, okay, which is the weight, right? So Roman one is done. Now we have to write expression for the centripetal force. Okay, so the expression for the centripetal force is based on this situation, lah. So we are gonna write. Um, Fc equal to mb square over r. Tapi sekarang dia sudah bagi kita mv square over l, which is the length of the string. The length of the string is basically the radius lah. Okay, right. So that is the expression. Lepas tu, if the string breaks, at which position will this likely to occur? That answer is at the bottom of the circle okay why sebab kalau kita tengok sekarang ni they are pulling each other okay they are going to the dif they are going to opposite direction which means they are pulling each other so if we are pulling a rope like this they akan ada satu area that will break nanti okay all right the past two now we have to derive an expression for maximum tension okay so basically the maximum tension will be at this at the bottom lah so db is actually the maximum tension maximum tension before it breaks okay so this one tt ni pula the minimum tension minimum tension untuk it keeps on going in a vertical circle okay right so let's do an expression uh, this is just basically at point B lah. I mean, Y component equal to MAC. Uh, just look at the bottom, which is this one. Okay. Okay. So, the acceleration. I forgot to draw the acceleration in direction, which is into the circle. Okay. So, TB will be positive. Okay, so it is towards the center of the circle. I'm just going to change it to maximum tension. 
minus mg equal to mb square w over r eh r pula l sebab we use link of string kan so the expression for maximum tension is then mb square over l plus mg okay so that is the expression for maximum tension the past two you have to calculate the value of maximum tension so everything is given 50 gram which is equal 1 2 3 0 0.05 kilogram length which is 0.6 meter speed is 10 meter per second so uh, kamu substitute jala value dia dalam this expression here you should be getting the maximum tension to be equal to 8.824 8.82 newton okay so that is your solution for question number six